Hello, Trinity. Pastor Matt here midweek, wanting to prepare you for the coming weekend. This coming Sunday is Confirmation Sunday. That's a day that all of us remember how, in Christ, we've been grafted into the family of God, and it's our faith in Jesus that's the most important part of who we are. To build to that moment, there's several things happening you should understand. First, when Ken arrives on Friday, he begins to do one of three things. As the pastor to the pastors, he'll be meeting with me and Julie, Carson and Lauren, and also Nate and Susanna Kellogg as Nate pursues the priesthood. So know that we are looking forward to this. Those are all different meals with him that are greatly helpful to us. Number two, Ken will join those being confirmed Saturday morning on our retreat outdoor in the woods around Leavenworth, and not just in the woods, but possibly in the water of the Icicle River, remembering our baptism and remembering what Christ has done for us in the ways that the Spirit is particularizing each one of us as parts of the body of Christ. And then third, Ken will preach Sunday morning. Please come to one of the two services where he continues our series on the book of Hebrews in the Old Testament mountain of fear that has now been exchanged for the mountain of joy to which Christ leads us. So come Sunday morning and please come Sunday night. For those who haven't been, Sunday night's a bit different for Trinity Church. On a Sunday morning, there's a bit of liturgy and many things that we have to do that don't leave much time for singing. But Sunday night at Confirmation, the whole service is song. Carson will lead us into worship, both ancient hymns and modern ones. And the feeling is just one of constant worship as we pray for those being confirmed. But those of us in the congregation just have an hour of singing or listening or praying. That's Sunday night at six. Finally, to prepare for this awesome weekend, there's two things I've attached to this tidings. Number one, a video of Ken talking about his own journey towards Colorado Springs to plant a church and how that started by his own time in Rwanda and how what God is doing in Africa led Ken to do similar things in this country. Find out more about how our local church here is part of the global Anglican church, the most culturally diverse and historic faith that I, frankly, am thrilled to be a part of. Discover that in the video. And also consider the article I've attached. This is in Christianity Today, and it's talking about how churches that are like ours, historic churches, that hold the traditional teachings on marriage and other hot topics today, can do this in a way that makes sure we are full of grace and truth. How do we hold true, but also keep ourselves open to those who think differently than us? Please read the article and understand what I think the Spirit is doing to help us be faithful Christians in these confusing times. So, pray for Bishop Ken. Pray for the confirmants as they let God confirm them as beloved children in Christ. And pray for our church as we keep growing and learning, what does it mean to follow Jesus today? The Lord be with you.